Joining us now on the line, Paul Stokes from Q Magazine. And um, we say singer-songwriter, Paul, but very difficult to pigeonhole because he was a sort of poet, he was a writer, uh, a real Renaissance man in some ways. Absolutely, and a real innovator. I mean, an artist. I think, you know, it's, yeah. it's quite rare people who pick up guitars, you know, often fit into brackets of, like, singer-songwriters or, you know, you know, lead guitarists. I think with someone like Lou Reed, he, he transforms everything that he got involved in. You know, the Velvet Underground, when they came out, didn't sell any records in the 60s, but it's claimed that everyone who heard that record at the time kind of went off and formed a band, and in a, in a strange way, sort of the art rock side of music probably wouldn't exist without him. Yet, as you say, Perfect Day uh, is a song that was... Uh, deemed an absolute uh, great single for a charity single, you know. So, so he he straddled, you know, both sides of music from the real abrasive to the absolute beautiful, lush uh, melodies. And um, some suggest he was rather uncomfortable, perhaps, with the commercial success of Perfect Day, even though he agreed for it to go forward. He wanted, perhaps, to remain this rather dark figure in, indeed, the New York underground. Yeah, I mean, if you listen to his lyrics, I mean, he's very great at chronicling, you know, his life, the lives around him, you know, a real sort of uh, a novelist approach almost to, to, to what he was talking about. And then some of the music he made, I mean, it was, you know, to be fair, a very hard listen. Metal Machine music, which is lots of loops and weird things, is, is not something, uh, you know, that is, is probably played too often. I, I think the great thing about Lou Reed is he just didn't enjoy being comfortable, and that's why he would, you know, make a record with David Bowie, but also in recent years he made a record with Metallica. And perhaps uh, we shall look forward to a re-release of Transformer. Absolutely. I mean, what I mean uh, is a masterpiece of a record, really. I mean, there, like, like, you know, like you said, there's the real dark underground, dirty songs on there, and at the same time, absolutely beautiful pop melodies. And you know, yes, I imagine you know that album is uh, it, it is one that you know that, that definitely deserves a listen. And, and you know, it's sad that obviously he's passed away, but if you, you know people pick it out and yeah. give it a spin again, it's a great thing.